If a web application doesn't have a robust defensive mechanism against SQL injection attacks, then an attacker can submit malicious inputs to the application to modify the SQL queries and retrieve hidden data from the application database. During this video, we look at this scenario in action. For the purpose of this exercise, we use a lab from Web Security Academy and as always, you can find the link to this lab in the video description. To solve this lab, we need to exploit a SQL injection vulnerability to retrieve the details of all products in any category, both released and unreleased. Alright, let's jump in and get started by clicking on Access the Lab. As we see, this is an online shop and the homepage contains the list of available products. There is a filter function in this page that allows the application users to search for products in different categories. Alright, let's start exploring the filter function and from the available categories, we choose all to get the list of the all products in all categories. As we see, there are 12 different products. These are the list of the release products, but our goal in this lab is to access all products, both released and unreleased. We are interested to see if we can interfere with the SQL query that the filter function is using, so that we can also retrieve the list of unreleased products. First, we turn on burp intercept, then in the web browser, we choose a category. As we see, the application is using an HTTP GET request to call the filter function and it passing the selected product category in a URL parameter called category. For now, we don't modify the parameter value and forward the request as it is. Since the HTTP request did not contain unexpected or invalid data, the application completes the request and returns 200 HTTP response code. In the web browser, we see the list of released products within the selected category. Now it's the time to see if the application is vulnerable to SQL injection. So once again, we turn on burp intercept and choose a category. In burp proxy, first we right click and choose URL encode as you type. Then we go to the URL parameter and add a single code to the category value. We are interested to see if this will trigger an error. Now let's forward the request. We get an interesting 500 HTTP response error. This is an indication that the added single code to the category value interfered with the filter function SQL query. Although there is no SQL error message within the application response, this is an indication that the application doesn't perform proper validation on the received data before using them in the SQL query. So we know the category parameter in the filter function is vulnerable to SQL injection. The filter function is using a SQL query like this to get the list of the products. As we see, this query returns the details of all released products within the specified category. We added a single code to the category parameter value, which led to an extra single code to the SQL query, and it triggered an error. So if we add single code or one equal one following by double dash to the category parameter value, then the SQL query for the filter function would look like this query. This SQL query returns the details of all products where the category is gift or one equal one. Since one equal one is always true, then it will return all products in all categories. And since the released equal one is placed after double dash, then it's now in the comment section and it won't be executed as part of the SQL query. Alright, let's see if our assumptions are correct and this simple payload can help us to exploit the SQL injection vulnerability and retrieve the list of all released and unreleased products. Back in the web browser, once again, we choose a category. In burp intercept, we go to the URL parameter and add the simple SQL injection payload to the category value. Then we forward the request. In the web browser, we get the message that we solved the lab. And by looking at the products, we see that we could successfully manage to exploit the SQL injection and retrieve the list of all released and unreleased products in all categories. During this video, we saw how an attacker could exploit a simple SQL injection to modify the SQL query in order to retrieve hidden data from a table in the backend database. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next videos.